Western Thatcher ants, or also called Western Thatching ants. This is on Vancouver Island, a giant anthill made of thousands of twigs and full of probably tens if not hundreds of thousands of ants. And it's many feet tall, many feet across. And it's a formica species that produces formic acid and that's why its bites can sting. And here's a close-up of a western thatcher or thatching ant. The colony can be a natural pesticide, can kill every pest in the area. And uh, many of the pests and non-pests can be killed in the area as well. So formic acid, they spray into the bites. This is why they're so painful. Unlike the fire ant, which actually stings. The ants raise aphids, which produce honey for them to eat. And they may or may not be able to digest the cellulose and produce food in that manner. So here's a close-up of the western thatcher or thatching ant. And here's a uh, picture of a colony I found. Giant Ant Hill in Yellow Point, Vancouver Island. So they are spreading up into Canada. Montreal and British Columbia. And they are up here. So there it is. There's the giant colony, Vancouver Island. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, there are brochures that say to protect them because they do act as a natural pesticide. But uh, if you get too close, they did sting me, and they will sting you. And their stings are very painful. As I say, they squirt formic acid into the bites. Actually, they are not stings. It's fire ants that stings. These just bite and, and, and shoot formic acid in. We'll burn out. Medical toxicology, Gary J. Erdog, MD.